Oh, oh, dancing llama, John. Uh oh, she is in the uh, she ruckus. Dead beat, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Uh, you ain't a killer boy, stop. I hear you yelling stacks on deck. Hey everybody, welcome to The Big Llama Show. I'm The Big Llama, thank you so much for joining me. Uh, if you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. This is a movie reaction channel. We watch movies uh, for the first time and I react to them and provide commentary. If you've been here before, welcome back. So glad to have you guys back. Uh, and the movie we're tackling today is John Wick Chapter 2. Um, the first John Wick movie I just, I just finished and I, I have to finish the whole series. Uh, I thought the first one was really, really good. Keanu Reeves is back, obviously, in part two. He's got a new dog. And so, um, really, really excited to get into this one. Before I get to that, please make sure you like and subscribe uh, if you, uh, or get the, if you like the video. Now, don't, you don't have to, don't feel obligated. This is YouTube. You don't have to do anything you don't want to. Um, but if you feel, if you like what you saw, you like this video, hit the like button. It helps uh, the, the video perform better in the YouTube algorithm. Uh, if you want to see more of my content and you like the stuff that you're seeing, um, you know, hit subscribe. Enough with the YouTube business. Um, let's get right into it. All right, we're gonna get right into it. And um, what I tell people is, you know, when I'm watching movies, always have some handy water with you. Have a drink there. Uh, I've already had my snack um, because I can't really talk and eat at the same time while I'm watching this movie. Uh, I had my little ice cream in a cup uh, and I got my little soda right here. Man, I am ready, I am ready to go. Let's get into it. John Wick chapter two, here we go. That's a pretty interesting effect. Uh oh, getting right back into the swing of things right off the bat. Damn. That's an awesome stunt work right there. That dude is done. That dude is toast. All right, we got some uh, some drug action happening. Okay, so they these guys are Russian. Only reason I know that is my closed captioning says man speaking Russian. <laughs> I don't speak Russian, it just said it on my closed captioning. Okay, this guy looks very familiar. Fucking nephew. Killed the dog. Oh, the guy's nephew. Stole the car. Okay, so this is the family connection. So Okay, this is awesome. This is awesome. You've got so it's the guy's nephew, family connection, and then you get this guy, who was pretty much your go-to Russian or European drug dealer guy, uh, and I think every movie, I think he was in Bad Boys, um, I think he's played a, everything from Russian to Yugoslavian to Ukrainian, I mean, I can't name all the movies he's in, but every time you need that guy, he's in, he's been in the movie, so uh, I love this already. John Wick? He's a man of focus. Oh, uh oh, here we go. Man of focus. There we go. All right, back to back to that action. I love it. He once killed three men in a bar. With a pencil. I know. I've three men in a bar with a pencil. <laughs> Who the fuck can do that? <laughs> the stories you hear about these men. The story is true. Nothing else has been watered down. There we go. That's the way to make an entrance. Baba Yaga. Baba Yaga. I'm much more excited about this movie than than I was the first. Obviously, I didn't know anything. Now that I know about John Wick, and I've seen the first one. It, I'm, I'm excited to see what happens next. So, where I was a little apprehensive in the first movie, I am very, very into the second one. So, so far, I'm only a couple minutes in, and it picks up right where it left off, for sure. Oh, oh, oh. oh did he ruin the windshield already? No, 
go, John Wick, angry driving. Here we go. Trademark in this franchise. <laughs> Definitely up the budget on uh, action sequences. Done. That dude uh, hit right out of the sunroof. Let's get to this guy. God damn it, that looked like it hurt. Alright, let's send the anonymous henchman in. That's my prediction. I never looked it up. I wonder how many stuntmen they went through in this movie. Because that's like six guys getting hit by cars. That's a big dude right there. Oh, coming in with the kicks. I'm on a crotch kick right there. there. The carnage. This guy, this guy's face in reaction. Enjoy your retirement. He's not gonna retire again. We got John Wick three and four coming out. Let's go. I, I gotta say, that is a great way to reintroduce the character of John Wick and just sort of tell you everything you need to know if you forgot about who he was and the kind of character he was. So. Excellent, excellent intro. Really excited. John Wick Chapter 2. Looks like this is going to be a fun ride. But I did notice he didn't he didn't use the gun. He wasn't double tapping dudes like he was in the first movie. So I'm sure that's going to change. It is following some of the same beats from the first movie. Same sound effects. Anyway. See, that, that, is, that is a nice, gris, that's a sturdy dog right there. Reminds me of my dogs. I got two pit bulls. Uh, love them to death. They're such sweet dogs. And they are sturdy as hell. They're, they're big and strong. Hey, John Leguizamo's back. Arulio. Hey, Arulio. Thanks for finding her. Not a problem, man. We just made a few calls. No big deal. I hope to see John Leguizamo's right. character. They'll be ready Christmas. <laughs> expanded a bit in this movie because he was he was I think like a bit part or cameo almost in the first one so in sequels you take some of those bit characters and you expand their parts so I'm hoping that that's what we get with John Leguizamo uh, here we go the retirement bit you're gonna, gonna bury your gold again and your guns just leave it out hmm, who's this guy Santino this is your blood. You so, came to me. I helped you. Okay, so okay. If you don't do this, you know. So like selling your soul to the devil, kind of. I'm sorry. I don't think you can just say no, buddy. Blood oath binds a man to his soul. You need to cue the uh, Al Pacino. Every time I want it out, they pull me back in. That's what this feels like. He wants out and he just can't get out. You can't just walk away from this life. You've seen too much. You've done too much. You've done too much dirt. Our Italian friend is going to get some payback. Launching the shit out of his house. Oh, please tell me the dog made it. Please tell me the dog's out. Hmm. Oh. Oh, thank God. Thank you, Jesus. Well, good evening, John. 
Hey, Jimmy. Hey, Jimmy. Jimmy's back. Gas leak? You working again? <laughs> I'll see you, Jimmy. <laughs> Come on, boy. They exchanged the same exact line of dialogue from the first movie. Hey, right, John. <laughs> All right, Keanu's going back to the uh, to the Hitman Hotel. Hey, Impeccable. Deadwood, Mr. Ian McShane. Put these into circulation. Two rules that cannot be broken, Jonathan. No blood on continental grounds, and every marker must be honored. Okay, every now, marker my must be honored. Comes in the form of excommunicado. Exactly. Try to follow the rules. Without them, we live with the animals. Again, I, I think I said it in the last review. This, these rules and this sort of normalization Deep of board. these assassins is is funny to me. To say, sir, but this facility does not. Got to be, got to be frisked. Got to be checked. She's not really checking him. She's like giving him a massage. <laughs> that look. <laughs> Got a little too close to the jewels, my friend. I needed the boogeyman. I needed John Wick. Just tell me what you want. Right, exactly. Stop messing. Miss, uh, stop wasting time. Tell him what you want. I want you to kill my sister. Holy shit. Why? Kill my sister and your marker is honored. This is crazy. And she's part of the high table. So you'll be next to, to damn near impossible. John, we need we need an outfit change, man. Walk around with the same old white shirt. Well, I just said it. Change of clothes. He's a bad man. He is just a bad man. Everybody knows this guy. Baba Yaga, now the Spitro. Let's go. You had retired. <laughs> I had. Then but now I'm back. Uh, to show you something. Oh my god. First. This is like a James Bond type thing, uh, Kingsman. I can wholeheartedly endorse the new breed of Austrians. Alright, this guy's voice sounds so familiar. I'm 26. May I suggest the Benelli M4? Benelli M4. The shotgun? Yes. Custom bolt carrier release and charging handle. This is neat. This is so neat. This whole sequence. This whole sequence is amazing because it, it's a it's a I would say a nod to the Kingsman, to uh, James Bond, uh, to the classic spy in, in movies. Um, it's just so much fun to see him set up. With the suits and the guns and the, you know, the maps and everything else. So much fun. He is getting ready to wreck shop right now. I mean, look at look at this setup. He's got magazines galore. I mean, hit, because his his reload game in the first movie was, was next level. So this is uh, Gianna D'Antoni. Oh, that is common. That is common. My God, I've heard a rant like this before. I just want to take a moment and talk about common or common sense, as his rapper name is. You know, how he became a movie star, um, you know, from his early, early work from the I Used to Love Her, which is, which is one of my favorites, and um, Breaker 1-9. I mean... Common was one of my one of my favorite rappers when he was an underground guy, uh, and now to see him in movies, at first it was a little funny, but you know he's he's really held his own. So, props to uh, Common. But I'll always remember him as as a hip hop artist, an undergrounder, um, and I used to love his albums. Enough about him. Let's let's continue with the movie. Oh shit. So there's implications of her being taken out that can still impact him. 
John. You're gonna you're gonna get you better just like in the first movie, double tap, dude, just make it happen. What is she doing? Boy. What is she doing? Oh my god. I lived my life my way. And now it's high my way. This is an interesting twist. An interesting interesting thing here. Do it. Double tap. Okay, good. Wow. So she was gonna die anyway. She was taking her own life right there. John Wick had to finish the job. Oh, this is not going to be pretty. Oh, oh. Dancing llama. John. Uh oh. Common. Cassian. Cassian recognizes you. Oh shit. Here we go, here we go. Oh, Cassian. You done failed your assignment. I stood the assignment. <laughs> John Wick understood the assignment. There it is. This is what I was waiting for. Double tap. Boom. Headshot. Damn. Boom. Headshot. Reload. Headshot. Headshot. Yes. Body shot. Headshot. No jiu jitsu action. Done. That was sick right there. Oh, I got knee cap in the head. Knee cap in the head. He was just taking fools out. This is why you watch these movies. It's a little too quiet down here in these uh, these catacombs, these underground areas. Just running and gunning. Gun number two. AR-15. There we go. These headshots are clean. Oh, here we go. Something a little bit bigger. Boom, boom. It's tough to reload shotguns. Very unreliable. Oh, John. You're not having a good night, are you, John? Yeah, I was wondering if, if Cassian was in the same league with John. I mean, he had to be if he was if he was guarding Gianna. Oh, not down the stairs. Oh, that's gotta hurt. Damn. Oh, oh, my back, my back. Man, I lay I lay wrong on the floor, or if I'm if I just move quickly, my back's out. I'm an old man. These dudes just roll down the stairs. I mean, I'd be dead. Hurt for sure. Gentlemen. Gentlemen. Oh, in the lobby of the Continental? He needs to avenge his sister's murder. He asked for the murder. This is stupid. This right here is a stupid. Uh, stupid plot point. You let management know of checking out I don't know if that's exactly what that means but how is he going to avenge his sister's murder he hired Wick to do it oh but yeah now that he's resolved the marker he's free to go after that guy and so he's going to for, for taking out his house that's right Processing. Please hold. oh my god Seven million dollar contract on his head for John Wick. My pleasure. Open. Oh man, they are coming after him hard. Wow. All them dudes were alerted. I'm sure John knows what this means. All them dudes is getting it.
Oh. Oh, come on, Yokozuna. Not gonna happen. He making it out of the airport. Oh. Okay, I thought maybe he had a vest under there. He's hurt. I didn't realize how many assassins there were in the world, though. Three guys with a pencil. <laughs> Great callback. That was gruesome. Oh. Three with a pencil. The legend is there. It continues. Three with a pencil. Man, that was awesome. It's so satisfying when a callback from the first movie is paid off in the second movie. That, I mean, that to me is the ultimate tribute and nod to the fans. This busted up guy walking around. <laughs> this is a, this is great. A little cat and mouse action. Got you. No, I got you. <laughs> Almost like a game. Oh, 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 what are you, what are you, got him a knife? The crotch. Okay, this is this is like uh, the French Connection right here. A little cat and mouse action. Same, same sort of look. This is uh, a William Friedkin uh, camera angle. I love the realism. I love the, the continuity of the take right here. Oh, we got him. Did you get him? Keanu was busted up. John Wick is busted up. All right, how many more assassins we got here? All right, Morpheus. Lawrence the Man Fishburn. As AKA Furious three. Styles. Man, his career has You're spanned decades. Damn! It's Christmas. We're going to Applebee's after <laughs> We're going to Applebee's. <laughs> I need your help. Why the fuck would I do that? Because I'm the only one that can help you. Oh, that's right. That's right. D'Antonio wants to take over New York, too. <laughs> and if Lawrence Fishburne's the capital of New York... Seven million dollars is a lot of money, Mr. Wick. The Matrix is everywhere. You owe me. Yeah, you he's me owing you. He's uh, he can't get out. It's so tough to get out. You you know, do a favor for one guy, you owe the other guy, and then you owe the next guy. Uh, it's like organized crime. You just can't get out. Just when I thought I was out, they pulled me back in. <laughs> Why'd the music stop? Oh, here we go, here we go. Here we go. Oh. Damn, he's good. Good night. Oh, good night. Got him. These action sequences are ridiculous. I, you know, I can't imagine he actually shot all these guns on the set right there. I mean, it's got to be loud. I'm sure they've got ear plugs in. Oh, right in the toe. Oh, right in the head. That was sick. I was sick. He just flipped the wrist and it came out for the reload. Oh my god, this is so Enter the Dragon. You should have just run away. No, John. No. You wanted me back. I'm back. <laughs> yeah. 
He wanted me back. Will I back? <laughs> oh, John Wick and the lines, the dialogue. Some of it is so cheesy. This girl's character is very intriguing. She's she's holding her own. She's she's pretty much she's a pretty big badass. I like her. I'm wondering how the camera work with all the reflections and mirrors and everything. Oh. What else would we expect? I, I'm amazed. I am amazed that from the camera angles and the camera work that you don't see a camera on on film. Oh, that's cool. That's a transition right there. I never ate the same meal twice. Jonathan, just walk away. That's right. The manager's telling you, don't yeah, do Jonathan. it. Don't do it, Wick. Walk away. Oh, snap. I thought for sure he'd respect what the rules. I'm shocked. I am shocked. But that's what you do. You go, you get the guy that you're looking for. You take him out. Forget the rules. The rules don't apply sometimes. But I know there's going to be some repercussions. Now, I'm worried that Ian McShane's character has got to go after John Wick. I will say that uh, this movie does, a, a, I think, some work in trying to set up the emotions of John Wick and emotional scenes. And there's some reflective points but I, I think Mr. Wick. it starts to take away from it a little bit it's a little slow you killed a man on company grounds Jonathan you leave me no choice but to declare you excommunicado tell them tell them all whoever comes whoever it is I'll kill them there's rules to this game John Excommunicado. Okay, so now, great, great way to set up a sequel. Uh, amazing way to sort of leave you at a cliffhanger that you want more. Um, I loved it. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed this one. Um, all right. Let's talk about it. All right, guys. There's my reaction to John Wick. Um, I, I have to say right off the bat, so, you know, the, the most basic thing that most people want to know is obviously, you know, do you like the first one better than the second one? And I will say that I think I enjoyed the first one a little bit more, uh, only because I didn't know about the lore of John Wick and I was learning some stuff about that, that world. It was all pretty fresh and new. Um, in the second one, it was very entertaining. I, I, I'm not saying I didn't like it, um, but if I'm going to compare the two, I thought the first one was um, probably a better film uh, overall, and the action moved. Now, in this second one, um, which is a little bit longer, there were a lot of more still moments, and so to me, some of those moments where they slow everything down, um, it just wasn't as exciting and it, and it sort of sort of dragged the movie just a little bit the action sequences were amazing um but i think the set pieces or the action sequences in the first one um were surprising and i think again that's that's my only thing now did i enjoy it absolutely were there some twists and turns that that i saw here it was really really good i mean um first of all let's talk about some of the you know some of the characters that were in here uh, Santino D'Antonio, um, which I had called him the poor man's Javier Bordem. Um, I don't know where he's been and what movies he's in, but um, you know that he was a pretty good character and, and a good bad guy. Um, Ian McShane's character as Winston gets an expansion, right? So he gets a little bit more action. You get a little to know that he's a pretty big player, and now he's got to excommunicate. John Wick at the end of this movie, which which is a shocker, uh, but at least he didn't kill him, you know, because I think he had with, he was within his rights to, to take him out. Uh, Common as Cassian, um, he was good. He, he matched wits with him and was, you know, in lockstep with John Wick in terms of, of abilities, but John Wick being Baba Yaga, being the boogeyman, got him. The, the, the thing that I was shocked is that how easy it was to kill the sister, Gianna D'Antonio. Um, 
it seemed like this was an impossible mission and he got there pretty easy and pretty fast and she basically was um you know dispersed of pretty quickly so you know they sort of build her up as it's an impossible thing and then he gets there really really quick um I, I'm a, I'm disappointed that John Leguizamo again is relegated to somewhat of a cameo or somewhat of a small role. Uh, I hope in part three he gets his moment because uh, to me uh, that's that's the guy I want to see. I, I'm just a big fan of uh, John Leguizamo. Uh, you probably heard in the review. I probably mentioned him over and over again. Um, but but again, uh, very very good movie. Uh, enjoyed it tremendously the great thing is I can watch part three right away I don't have to wait so in the next couple of days I'm gonna be watching part three and I'll do a reaction to that one as well and we're gonna have it on the channel but uh, let's get to the trivia you know I like to go to IMDB and uh, check out the trivia I always love to read factoids and things about the movie so let's go right to trivia time here we go All right, IMDb trivia. Let's see. We got a one here. It says uh, Keanu performed about ninety-five percent of the film's stunts himself. The only stunt that he didn't do are the ones in which John Wick gets hit by a car, and the ones where he falls down the stairs during the fight with Cassian. I I, we, I mentioned that a lot of this the stunt work it was phenomenal, and a lot of it looked practical. Um, but man, how many stuntmen did they go through? Because guys went through a lot of cars. And there was a bunch of scenes where people were falling downstairs, which I know cannot, cannot be uh, anything but painful. Even though they're professionals, had to be painful. Okay, this one answers the question I've been asking in the last two. Um, it says here, to prepare for the role, Keanu trained for three months. His training consisted of judo, Brazilian jiu-jitsu, and marksmanship and driving. So, yeah, I had said it was probably jiu-jitsu um a uh, judo i couldn't think of judo that's the one that that where you where you pull and you use the person's uh sort of leverage against them so that's that's pretty interesting here's another good uh tidbit the body count there were 116 per the home videos release included the special features of john wick the kill count 116 uh were taken out in this movie which which is phenomenal and mostly headshots mostly sh you know now the, the realism of it is that John Wick is practical in his uh, approach. He goes for the, for the silhouette standard body headshot or body shot. Uh, so he's, he's hitting at the mass of the target and then he goes to, to, to finish off the target by hitting the head. And so um, that to me is impressive that he does that consistently throughout the movie. It's not just a, uh, you know, a style. It's kind of for practicality. He disables the person, shoots the leg, shoots the center mass, and then he goes to the head. Just, just phenomenal, and then it was consistent throughout the movie. Oh, this is a good one. The director, Chad Stahelski, was a stuntman in the Matrix trilogy in which Keanu Reeves, of course, was the main character, Neo. That's, that's a pretty, pretty good uh, tidbit of information right there. Here's an interesting one, and I had said the actor, uh, Peter Stormare, who, who pretty much plays your your garden variety European mobster or gangster. Um, it says here that the actress who played the Russian Mafia brothers, which was Vigo from the first movie and uh, Abram from the second, which is Peter Stormare, are both from Sweden. So they're not even Russian. <laughs> Well, I hope you enjoyed this reaction. I hope you enjoyed the trivia. Um, thank you so much for tuning in and watching this with me. I do appreciate everybody coming on. Uh, again, uh, consider liking this video and consider subscribing. Uh, if, if you like my videos, you like the content I'm putting out, um, when you give it a subscribe, it just appears in your feed and it tells you that uh, more content's being put out there. Um, again, if you liked a couple of the videos, come on, subscribe, become a member of the Lomination, join us here. Um, that's how you can support this channel. Uh, I don't have Patreon, I don't have anything else. Uh, I don't I don't think that those things are, are important, uh, at least not to me. Um, so again, um, what you see is what you get. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for joining me on this journey for John Wick 2. Join me for John Wick 3. I'm going to be doing that next. So thank you so much. I appreciate everybody. Thank you for coming to the Big Llama Show. I'm the Big Llama. Peace out, everybody. Jeez.
Shit, I tell her, baby, you're the one for me. Never two unless you're telling me you feel it too.